Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking you through my current tanning routine. I get a lot of questions from you guys over what tan I'm using at the moment, so I thought I would jump on here and tell you and also give you a nice overview of how it works, how I'm using it, and the different products and tools I'm using to help me achieve my tan. Spoiler alert, this is the tan that I've been using I think since about April time. This was a lockdown purchase. I was bored, I wanted a new tan. If you haven't seen my previous tanning routine, I will link that in the info box for you. It's more of my winter tanning routine, though I do think this is a product that I will still use solidly from now on because I really think it's great and I rate it so much. But if you wanna see my tanning routine using a mousse and that is a product that you prefer, I use like an express mousse, which is my favorite because it's just a little bit quicker and sometimes I find a little bit more convenient for the winter time. And if I've got nights out and things like that and I wanna be able to really like calculate and pinpoint exactly when I'm gonna be able to like wash off and exactly when I'm gonna start like showing my tan color coming through. So I will link that below if you, if you want to go and watch that. I think it's a kind of eight hour mousse that I use, but the same practice also applies for if I'm using like my express mousse as well. But today I'm gonna to be using the Saint Tropez Bronzing Water Gel. This is the self tan purity water. This is so great. I was really looking forward to trying it. I've wanted to try it for ages and ages. I've seen quite a few people use it and it just seemed so like too perfect. <laughs> perfect it's a self tan in a gel form so it's like quite nice and like hydrating i find it doesn't have a guide color but it doesn't leave any color on your clothing hence why i'm comfortable enough to be in a white bikini right now that is how much i trust that this will not put any color onto anything i can't tell you this has saved my brand new bed sheets like there is no tan on them whatsoever i'm so so happy with it and i love it this much these this is just my empty since i've moved into this house because i think i used up a bottle when i was at my old flat as well so that is how much i love this and have been going through it i think there might have actually been an extra bottle in addition to this because i remember actually like throwing one away so that is how much i've been enjoying this product over the summer it's literally an apply and go kind of vibe i love it so that is what i'm going to be using today to show you my tanning routine i'm going to talk you a bit through prep first there's not too much that goes on in the way of prep i'm not like super super meticulous over it but i do like to always before i apply my tan the day before i like to use a scrubbing kind of mitt of some kind i've got a halo one which is actually in the wash i will pop a picture of it here but much like the face halos there is a body halo and i love it i think it is my favorite exfoliating what would you call it brush body brush i don't know body scrub it's my favorite body scrub of all time anyway it just feels so gentle on my skin and i love that it has like the exfoliating side and then it has this kind of like what i call the buffing spongy side which probably still does exfoliate you a little bit i don't know but for me it's just super comfy and i really like to use it just on an everyday basis to apply my shower gel which might seem really excessive but it just feels so nice and i feel like it makes my skin look better but last night i actually used the lydia millen glow beauty scrubby brush thing which works just as well i think it's actually more effective the body halo is so gentle so i find that if i'm like really looking to kind of buff my tan off it does take me a couple of goes whereas this will really effectively buff all your tan off which was great for me last night because i kind of left it till the last minute to exfoliate and obviously i wanted to be like without tan as much as possible for this video i haven't tanned in i would say it's been nearly two weeks i have the most dodgy tan on my body right now because obviously i've like been out in the garden over the course of the summer so my arms are super brown my chest is brown ish my stomach is just like a regular kind of brown and then my legs are just like mismatched colors in different places <laughs> i can't you'll probably see it in the before clip that i filmed hopefully my camera has been slightly kind to me in terms of how it balances out things but yeah i'm working with a slightly mismatched kind of body right now so what i do tend to do fun fact is apply twice on my stomach i usually do two days in a row stomach and chest but yeah i'll get to that more in a second so yeah i gave everything a good exfoliation last night if anyone's wondering why i'm just like really mismatched colors that is why the glow beauty kit also comes with a back scrubby thing i did not use it last night <laughs> I was feeling lazy. But yeah, you can use a little back scrubby thing, which actually just feels great if you do it like this. It just feels like a really good scratch. But yeah, I haven't done that in a few days. So my tan on my back is just probably like doing its own thing. And I'm just gonna roll with that because I'm not really gonna be showing you my back. So that is step one of prep. Step two is to shave. I do this the majority of the times, but actually with this product, 
I don't find it to be as essential. So if I'm in a little bit of a time crunch and it just hasn't like happened and I've not been like quite on the wall and really thought through the process enough, it actually doesn't matter with this product. I don't find that this one, it sinks into your pores. You know, like if you sometimes use a mousse or you know, lots of other tans, like lots of tans do it and it's very, very normal. If you have like just freshly shaved, the tan seems to like sink into your pores and you end up with like little speckledy legs. This doesn't do that. And if you have also just shaved right before you apply your tan, it also doesn't burn my pores on my legs either, which I just think is amazing because I do find that lots of products do that. My skin on my legs is very, very sensitive to that and I don't find this does that. So that is one of the many pros of this is that it does lend itself quite well to my last minute like slapdash tendencies. But yeah, really in an ideal world, I shave the night before whilst I'm exfoliating as well, which I did do last night. I was on the ball, thought this through for you guys. Did I do my back? No, no I didn't. You win some, you lose some. And then step three of prep is literally just to make sure I have a clean body with no product on it. So I make sure that if I am doing my skincare routine, that I don't bring my oil down onto my chest. Normally with my excess oil that I use on my face as well, I pop it on my elbows and the back of my arms because I get little chicken spats. I don't do that on tanning days because I just know that it's all gonna interfere and it's not ideal. But anyway, I'm gonna crack on and get started. I've got a little mitt. I have so many mitts in this basket. I'm gonna be using a glow beauty one today the branding on this is just so cute so the application of this is so simple i normally do about three pumps per area and this is where i feel like i talk to people a lot about their fake <laughs> tan guys like my friends just everyone i know i guess because i'm quite like tan quite a lot we do end up talking about tan like everyone i <laughs> mean we end up talking about tan and i always recommend this one and we get chatting and lots of people quite often say that they find that tan just goes streaky on them and i haven't ever really had this issue in terms of like having applied it like say you don't like sweat or get any water on you but you're still finding that you're getting streakage i've never had that and one of the reasons why i think i have always been quite lucky is because i'm quite over generous like quite generous quite generous with my application of my tan like two to three pumps per area is plenty and i've just never found that i've got a streak or missed a bit and i guess it's because i'm maybe using more than enough to like cover the whole area but that being said i also am very cautious of when i tan so if i'm doing a workout that day or exercising i try not to apply any tan i'm really trying to do this without flashing my boob it's really very difficult just so you all know yeah on those days i just i just won't tan because if you do you will end up with a streak mark like the other day i actually did do a workout and forgot i'd applied tan and i did have like because i sweat on my chest i don't really sweat on my face i sweat underneath my arms so i will get streaks there down my chest and then kind of like here on my stomach and then sometimes on my legs as well depending on what i'm doing so that is something to keep in mind if you are applying this tan because you can literally apply it in the morning and go all day so it's just important to make sure you don't forget that you can't really get wet i'd say in the first eight hours to be honest i've been like splashed with water after the eight hour period it's been like the evening and i've had the tan on and i found because the tan has done its work the water hasn't really like disturbed what's going on in my skin because the skin underneath the product has like taken the color if that makes sense so yeah basically try not to get wet in your first like eight hours i'm doing another three pumps on my other arm i did three pumps on my chest as well and i always try and like streak the product down my arm in like sections of three so i do like the top side of my arm the back of my arm and then the underneath of my arm and then buff in it tends to stop me missing any areas i also always make sure i bring my arm around to the front and i usually do this in the mirror but i'll just make sure that i do my elbow as well just so i don't miss that and one very important thing is i actually don't take my tan all the way up to my wrists yet i will show you why so i've got tattoos on my wrists so it makes it really easy for me to like decide where i'm starting from but i don't go past the little arrows i do the bottom arrow and that's it and then bring it up my arm onto my shoulder a little bit onto my back sometimes do the back of my neck it's very hard to do today because i've got bikini on so actually i'm just gonna leave that i'll finish this all off and perfect it when i am not on camera with you guys because obviously i can get naked but right now that would be really inappropriate so yeah i will show you what i do i do my hands and wrists last so i tend to do arms first chest then I do three pumps on my tummy. So yeah, constantly buffing in circular motions. I love this tan as well because it doesn't settle into my belly button, which is 
great because that is one of my pet peeves with fake tan. And then I do my back. This is really difficult with all of these strings going on. I normally do this. Like the easiest way to tan is just to do this butt naked. I always make sure I fully get the sides and my underarms as well. Just always give them a little buff. I'm gonna do my back separately, but I always like to just kind of really make sure that I've got everywhere. Then I do my legs, three pumps again on the lower part of my leg. And I kind of take this up over my knee as well and around the back. And as you can see, this gives like a really lovely sheen as well, which is one of the things I really like about this product is it makes my skin look really nice and healthy. I always make sure I get the inner part of my leg. This part I pay extra attention to because the back part of my leg is always a bit that I miss. Three pumps all over my leg and up to my knee and then I do another three pumps. I take it down onto my foot as well, which you can't see, but I'm doing that. When doing my feet, I always wait until I put the majority of product onto the rest of my leg first. I don't like to use too much product on my hands and feet because my skin takes product so differently there. And for anyone having an absolute hernia that I'm doing this in a white bikini, there is literally no guide color on this, but I have also tanned in this before. I think for a video. So this has already got pink on it from when I used to use a mousse tan. So don't stress, I've already ruined it. Once that's done, I run any excess along my shoulders and along my back. And then for the center of my back, I'm gonna go in with my back tanner, which is again from Lydia Millen's Glow Beauty. This has been a real like star of the show for me. I'm aware I use way too much. <laughs> I use four pumps just for my back, but I like to make sure that it's really been coated. So for my back, just gonna shimmy this. And I try and be quite gentle with it and I try not to be too aggressive because I feel like if I'm too aggressive, I end up like rubbing product off. And for the top of my back, I was hunch over so it's a smoother stretch of skin. I'm pretty sure that's me covered. I'm gonna go over myself when I'm not on camera, obviously just to make sure I'm covered but you can really tell if there's a bit that you've missed with this because although it's quick dry and it dries really really well and you can get dressed once you put it on it does have a very wet feel to begin with so you can really see if there's a dry patch of your body that you haven't applied product to so with that in mind i wouldn't get dressed after applying this for like a good 15 minutes that's me being overly cautious obviously i live on my own so i don't really have as much of an issue as like some people if they live with lots of other people and they don't want to walk around naked but i would generally shut myself in the bathroom or my bedroom for a good 15 minutes to let this all sink in and to dry you could get dressed fairly quickly after but i do feel like you run the risk of rubbing some of the product off i honestly think the more time you spend not clothed in general after tanning the better your tan is going to be and the less anything's going to rub off like i always find i put a bra on fairly quickly after tanning you can't let these girls run free and because of that i do always have like a patch around my boobs and a patch underneath right at the top of my stomach from where a bra has been because it does rub off and because i put a bra on so so quickly after same goes for my underwear but there's a lot less to my underwear it's not particularly tight and that is another thing um i will always kind of err on the side of caution and wear something that's just not super tight so like cycle shorts and leggings on my bottom half and like sports bras on my top half i generally try to steer away from which is quite easy if you're not having like a exercise kind of gym day and you apply this you're generally gonna be okay so to finish off i'm gonna take my mitt i haven't applied any product to this and what i do is i just brush the mitt over my hands like this literally like this i try and be quite precise on the tips of my fingers because i do find this can just give my nails a little bit of a yellowing if i get too much of it on them so i do have like a product which is like good for discoloration on your nails so if the worst did happen i would just use that but i just like to make my life a little bit easier for myself by just being quite careful and you can go like either side of your finger which is something i used to be really meticulous about but this tan i don't know what it is about this tan but it works on hands so beautifully so beautifully so i don't really find that it takes to my hands too badly maybe it's the fact that the gel is very hydrating my hands just don't seem to go the same color as they would with a mousse like i honestly even if you loved mousses i would recommend getting something like this just for your hands because it is incredible and when it comes to doing the edges of my hands lots of people comment on the fact that i just never have like patches around here or here and it's because i actually don't really go onto that part of my hand like i see people properly buffing the side of their hands and i literally just give it 
a light swipe and again on this side a light swipe and here a light swipe and that is that is it i do this last so that my hands don't have to be in the mitt whilst i am tanning the rest of my body because then that's going to be sitting on the inside of your mitt and you've got more chance of having it then when you switch hands on the palm of your hand and you've got more chance of like having tan on the underside which is like one of the real like giveaways that you obviously fake tan and there's nothing wrong with people knowing that you fake tan there's absolutely nothing wrong with it but it just doesn't look you know like supernatural whereas if you get this right your tan just looks so natural and that's one of the reasons why i don't really worry about doing this bit of my hand because actually i've spent quite a lot of my life being naturally tanned anyway i have that oily skin that just no matter how much sun cream i put on my skin will react to the sun but the palms of my hands no matter how tanned i've been have never been tanned so it's not something that i worry about there being like a real distinct difference because it's honestly it's just something that i am used to seeing on myself i guess that's my aim with my fake tan as well is just to make sure i look like my most naturally tanned version of myself and then what i do with my hands is i just make sure i don't get them wet or wash them or touch any like cleaning product or anything like that any moisture no moisture for 30 minutes and then after that if i need to like go to the toilet and then wash my hands or clean something or anything after that first half an hour the product seems to have done its work so it does take much quicker to your hands don't worry about having a product on your hands for the same length of time you would the rest of your body after washing my hands what i will do is again just pick up the um mitt what's wrong with me i'll pick up the mitt and i just brush over literally the i want to say the entryway to my hand but like this part of my wrist i just swipe over it just to avoid any like watermarks here i'm generally very careful when i wash my hands anyway but you know shit happens so yeah i always just go over if i get splashed like sometimes i'll be like at my sink and there might be a bit that like goes onto like my shoulder i always just come back into my bathroom and give it a quick buff and it generally seems to stop any patches the quicker you move and react to that situation the better chance you have of saving it and if anything does go horribly wrong i just kind of exfoliate the area lightly and then apply a little bit more the next day which is what i had to do with my chest i don't think you can see but last week i definitely had like a situation on my chest because i was silly and i worked out after applying my tan so once that is all on like i said wait a little bit get into clothing go about my day as normal we've talked through the hand situation and what you will notice with this product it has like a really nice scent to it it doesn't smell fake tanny at all but you will start to notice like a faint smell i would say around I want to say three hours in and i feel like from then on that's when you can start to see the process kind of coming through but around like six to eight hours later is when i start seeing some real glow coming through and then like eight to nine hours you're looking at some real nice glow anytime from then on like if i leave this on for quite a long time i'm like glowing glowing so most days i will obviously shower in the evening so it will generally get washed off then sometimes it's the next morning if i'm feeling particularly lazy but this doesn't come off on my bed sheets at all it's just great so yeah although it says natural looking glow in the first three hours on the bottle i would say save your like decision on whether you like this product and any tan this goes for any tan save your decision for a good like at least eight hours if it's a mousse when i'm trialing a mousse i don't decide whether it did a good job until the next day because sometimes some tans just take a little bit longer to develop this one has a really nice like developing time i think like it really starts to show after about eight hours whereas mousses sometimes you kind of have to leave them to develop for eight hours and then you'll find after that eight hours is when the color starts to come through and honestly that and the amount of product you use i feel like really make the difference when you are tanning and trying out a new tan deciding if you love a tan be generous with the amount you're using and give it like a solid amount of time to develop okay so this is me fully applied all of my products took the bikini top off did my thing literally takes like five minutes to go from feeling like super tacky to something that is a little bit more dry feeling so i think in like another five minutes i'm gonna be ready to fully like put my clothes on obviously i've been using the purity water over the summer so it has been a lot easier to wear like loose flowy clothing over the more recent weeks it's been a little bit cooler and i've been opting for like very loose trackies and like a nice loose top or just like a bra if i'm like around the house going into winter this is one of the reasons that i really like a mousse because i could basically just spend like a set amount of time like an hour to three hours max just having to you know stand by my bathroom radiator and be like 
okay developing but then i know i can wash it off after and be like really snug and cozy so i probably would use this on my days off when i am just wearing like looser comfy clothes like my jersey jumpsuits like from asos i always throw those on when i'm tanning and i don't really have to like look presentable rather than days where i'm like either changing a lot or wearing something that's like quite smart or wearing something that's quite heavy and I don't want to like sweat in or just wearing something that's very very tight so I probably use it more on days off like I said but I do think it's still so worth my time even throughout the winter because the tan this gives is just so lovely and so natural if you like a really really dark tan there are definitely mousses that will give you like a really really deep tan but if you're looking for something that is like on the more natural side and that just really makes you glow I live for this it really works to warm up your skin tone as well so even if you're very fair or very dark i think this would still work so wonderfully because even just a small amount of this for a small amount of time will help knock out like ashy tones in your skin you know when you're in like the depths of winter and things are just not looking cute like my skin i don't know about everyone else my skin goes gray in the winter it goes gray so this will help to really like warm you up and give you a lovely glow and the longer you leave it on for obviously the darker it gets it just doesn't get as dark as some mousses so depending on what your preferences are this i think this will be a winner for most if i'm honest it also comes in a face spray which i love i don't have it with me right now which is kind of annoying it's at ryan's house living between two places is kind of getting the better of me right now but i am very excited to try this when i next get ready this is the saint tropez self tan purity vitamins it's a vitamin like c and d serum so i'll probably use that in the morning on my skin and hopefully it would give me like a nice glow throughout the day i took this out my cupboard earlier when i was looking for all of my bottles of fake tan this morning i actually used the osia adaptive tan mist i really like this i've been using this for a really long time so you might have seen it on my channel before this gives a really lovely glow to my skin it doesn't go super dark though but it's a really lovely light mist and i really enjoy it because it feels like it's doing my skin some good as well as adding a nice little bit of like warmth and bronze to it and it doesn't rake me out which is sadly something that i found that my dior tan spray mist was doing to my face and i was so heartbroken about it the purity mist also in the face spray doesn't break me out as well so they are a great duo together so hopefully i'll get on with this as well i'll use this in the morning tomorrow before i come back and do my after so hopefully i'll be able to pop here what it looks like on my skin so those are all the products i've been using hopefully this wasn't too boring for you because i feel like i've just done a whole video on like a very small amount of products so i'll be back with you in the morning to check in and show you my tan i'm going to show you it in this light in here but i'm also shooting a before and after like full body in a very well lit room in my house so you can kind of see in the different lights what this tan is looking like but yeah i'm gonna be back with you tomorrow because i've talked forever um I feel like my face is starting to twitch. Hello everybody, just jumping in to do my kind of final check-in with you. I think there might be one more check-in, which I'll tell you about why in a second. So it's been exactly 24 hours since I last saw you. I wanted to film this in like the same kind of light that I was filming in yesterday so that you can really kind of see how different my tan is and kind of judge for yourself whether it is a tanning routine for you. My hands and wrists are looking good. This one I think might have been a bit more dry than this one. This one is like... I'm very happy with this. Like, it's perfect. There's not even, like, my hand is lighter or darker. It just looks so natural and I'm so happy with it. So yeah, that is it for my hands. My top half has gone very dark and that's mainly due to the fact that my top half, like this part of my body, is just darker anyway because of like sun exposure and stuff so i am going to apply a second application to my torso front and back because my top of my back is more tan than like the bottom of my back and like this area here i think you'll be able to see that in the afters so what i will do is one last check-in where i do my torso for a second round my back and then i also will probably do my bum as well because my bum is shockingly like no one's gonna be surprised my bum is naturally a lot lighter than my legs because obviously i don't get my bum out as much as i get my legs out so yeah what i would do is second application if you're really pernickety over having a completely like all over tan that would be something that i definitely advise it works a treat i do it very very regularly like if i know i'm gonna have like my tummy out like say i'm wearing a dress where there's a cutout my stomach is gonna be on show or i know i'm gonna be in a bikini because it's gonna be really hot or i'm just wearing a lot of crops i will always make sure I do my stomach my bum area is not so essential but i like for my stomach to match my chest and i like for my lower back to match my upper back just in case i end up wearing anything that is backless or whatever you know the deal so past me is gonna cut straight ahead to a little clip here of future me with the full second application on stomach 
back and bum and hopefully that also gives you an idea of how well this can build up if that is something that you are looking for in a tan but yeah that is it so so easy my skin looks so glowy once i've used it i just always think it looks so healthy and hydrated and that must be the tan because i'm not the best with like applying body lotion i have not applied body lotion i think in about a week so i'm putting it down to the tan i always look so glowy and my skin looks so plump and healthy after i use it as well which is amazing yeah i'm gonna stop rambling now about my tan and i'm gonna go i hope you guys enjoyed seeing this little insight into how i tan my routine and what i'm currently using and all of the little before and afters let me know if there are any other beauty routines you'd like to see i hope you're all having a really great day and i will see you guys again very soon bye